Ryan McGlynn on the Loose TV. We are here at the Branchburg County Fair, and I am speaking with Assemblyman Jack Cetterelli. Hello, Ann. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Uh, you are the Assemblyman for District 16 for Somerset, Hunterdon, Mercer, and Middlesex counties, correct? I am. One of three legislators that represents the 16th District. 14 towns in total, four counties. And are you up for re-election, Jack? Everyone's up for re-election this year. The governor... And do you mind if I call you Jack? Not at all, Ann. Please do. So the governor is up, and all 120 seats in the state legislature are up this year. Wonderful, wonderful. So why are you here today? That's the big $6 million question. The first reason I'm here is that uh, this is sponsored by the township committee, and it's a great day for Branchburg. Their country fair is an annual event. It brings out all the folks from the community. There's a lot of nonprofits that are here today. A lot of volunteers make the day possible. It's a great day for community. So I'm here to celebrate Branchburg. But it also provides an excellent opportunity to meet and greet people since it is an election year. Yeah, I can see there's a lot of festivities going on. There's some entertainment. We have a lot of games and, uh, you know, just it, it's amazing. The people here are wonderful. It's a beautiful day. Can't get any better than this, correct? It doesn't get better than this. And when you look around, what you see is every single type of citizen from Branchburg is here, young and old, middle-aged, and everyone's having a great time. I mean, all you have to do is look around. All you do is see smiles. Yeah. So, again, it's a great day for community. How long has uh, how, this event been taking place? How many years? That I don't know. Oh, do I'm know. asking the wrong person that question. I should be asking you questions like, you're up for re-election, correct? Well, no, let, let's focus on Branchburg. Sure. Our clerk here, Barbara, how long has the fair been in existence? How long? Roughly. <laughs> Roughly. Ten years. Ten years. That's good enough for me. A decade. A decade. And it's always been very, very successful. And to the best of my memory, it's only rained once on the Branchburg Country Fair. So another great day for the weather committee. So come on down. Obviously, at this point, when you're watching this, it might be a little bit too late. Now, how long are the festivities going to be taking place? How long have they been taking place? And when is the final cutoff date? For the fair? Okay, so the fair started at 11 o'clock this morning. It'll go right up through 5 o'clock this afternoon. So, which is great, because if you go over to the uh, J uh, Jason Fields, you see a lot of Branchburg families that are involved with their soccer programs and baseball programs. So, it taking so long, 11 to 5 o'clock, there's an opportunity for everybody to get here, eat, take part in the games, support the nonprofits, and be part of the fair. That's wonderful. So, um, as an assemblyman, what is your job, Jack? My job is to advocate for the constituents that live in my district, all 225,000 of them. My job is to vote on the various laws there are that come through the New Jersey legislature. And uh, that's a very honored and privileged position. Uh, the way I always put it in perspective is this way. There are 8.8 .8 million people that live in New Jersey. Only 120 get the vote on the laws. So it's a very, very serious responsibility. And uh, I take it so. And you're uh, one of the 120, correct? Yes. We have vote 40 districts throughout the state of New Jersey. Each one has 220,000 people in it. That's how we get to a population of 8.8 .8 million. And uh, every one of those districts has one senator and then two assembly people. So my colleagues are here today, Senator Kip Bateman and Assemblywoman Donna Simon, because we all represent Branchburg. So, but in the end, 40 senators, 80 assembly people, and this year we're all up for election. Are you up for re-election? We are up for re-election. The three of us are lucky enough to be incumbents. So. And what is one of your main focuses, besides, of course, looking out for the community and all your constituents, what is one of your main objections? Certainly you have to be sensitive to issues that are particular to each one of the towns you represent. So I know here in Branchburg one of the more sensitive issues are energy receipt taxes, and that's something we're working on. Um, in terms of statewide policy, issues number one, two, and three are property taxes, property taxes, and property taxes. I had a feeling you were going to say that. Well, it, it is New Jersey's ongoing challenge, and we've attacked it with things like the 2% property tax cap, pension and health care reform, but there's other things that we're trying to do with various reforms that would help stabilize, if not lower, property taxes. And how do you feel about the potential for the government shutting down on Tuesday? It's not something I'm real pleased about. Uh, and if it were to happen, it'd be something that would terribly disappoint me. You know, I heard on my way here, I heard that the government has shut down 17 times at least. And uh, nothing tragic has happened as a result of it. But um, how do you feel about, you know, the Obamacare aspect of it and, you know, trying to prevent Obamacare from taking over, especially within the state of New Jersey? How do you feel about that? Listen, I, I don't agree with every aspect of Obamacare. I think it's got some very, very attractive features. I don't agree with it entirely. But let me say this. It was voted on by a Congress. It was voted on by the Senate. It was signed by a president. And it was upheld 
by the John Roberts Supreme Court. To shut down government over Obamacare, to me, is irresponsible. So let's have the debate, let's have the discussion, but to shut down government, I don't think that's what the people of the United States want. So our, our Congress needs to be more responsible in the way they're going to handle these matters. Well, I want you to have a rest of the good day, enjoy all the festivities taking place. What are you, what are you going to do? Are you going to eat? Are you going to go play some games? What are you going to do? All of the above. Oh, wonderful. Such a pleasure. Jack Cheddarelli. Thank you, Ann. Good to see you. Did I say that with an Italian slang? She got it perfect. I did? Okay. On the Loose TV, Ann McGlynn.